unfortunately for all of us right now, uh, we got to talk about child labor. And not in a far off country uh, where evil practices we have once thought were normal have been worked out of the workplace. No, we're talking about child labor in Alabama because of, of, of course we are. This one is from Karamba, and as always, in true Karamba fashion, we have a wonderful piece that has no context. The next one we have is from Daisy. In case it's too dark, it's supposed to be Cirrus's hammer. And the last one is from Hythris, so my first fan art ever. Joined the Discord just to post this, and I wanted to say thank you, Cirrus. Your content means so much to me. Well, thank you very much, Hythris. Thank you, everybody who's uh, submitted their fan art on the Discord. If you want your fan art to be shown, go ahead and throw it onto the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please consider doing so. If you haven't hit the like button, all that other fun stuff YouTube algorithms cares about, uh, maybe even check out Patreon. Those are all things you can do. They help the channel out immensely. But with that said, let's go ahead and talk about Sweet Home Alabama. A subsidiary of Hyundai uh, has used child labor at one of its Alabama factories. This was submitted on July 22nd, and let's go ahead and take a read at what's uh, what's going on here. So a subsidiary of Hyundai has used child labor at a plant that supplies parts for the Korean car makers assembly line in nearby Montgomery, Alabama, according to the area police, the family of three underage workers and eight former and current employees of the factory. Eroso, uh, er Eros, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an owl. Owl. Underage workers, in some cases as young as 12, have recently worked at a metal stamping plant operated by Smart Alabama LLC, these people said. Uh, Smart, listed by Hyundai in its corporate filings as a majority-owned unit, supplies parts for some of the most popular cars and SUVs built, in the auto uh, built by the automaker in Montgomery which is its flagship United States assembly plant. In a statement sent after Reuters first published its findings on Friday, Hyundai said that it, quote, does not tolerate illegal employment practices at any Hyundai entity. We have policies and procedures in place that uh, require compliance with all local, state, and federal laws. It then did not answer detailed questions from Reuters about the findings. So before we continue, before we continue, uh, maybe it's just been that I've been watching a lot of The Boys recently. But uh, this feels like your general corporate speak for there are no problems here. What are you talking about? We we just say the lines. We just say the lines. We don't tolerate any of this in our company, despite it showing up in our company when found. That's it. it feels it feels strange to me. Seeing, yeah, seeing the Vought speak, uh, just in 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 real life, normally, like when A Train is confronting um, Ashley on having a Nazi in their ranks, and she's just like, Vought does not condone Nazism and takes a hard stance against them, and it's just like, okay, but what about the actual Nazis we employ? What about them? What about those people? Can we do something about those people? Uh, Liska Dave Abbott, thank you for redeeming your points for an ara ara, you fucking degen. But let's go ahead and continue with the actual bit here. Smart didn't answer specific questions about the workers cited in the story or on the job scenes they and the other uh, people familiar with the factory described. Reuters learned of underage workers at the Hyundai-owned supplier following the brief disappearance in February of a Guatemalan migrant child from her family's home in Alabama. The girl, who turns 14 this month, and her two brothers, aged 12 and 15, were all working at the plant earlier this year and weren't going to school, according to people familiar with their employment. Their father, Pedro Z, confirmed these people's accounts in an interview with Reuters. Holy fucking shit! What? How? 
Did you just have you just have random miners disappear and show up working in a plant? I mean, it's better than them being dead, but come on. We're supposed to not have child labor anymore. I mean, I'm sure there are some libertarians that want to talk about ch children's ability to consent to labor, among other things. But none of that really matters in reality. In reality, we, we shouldn't fucking tolerate child labor. Police in the uh, Z family home, or family's adopted hometown of Enterprise, also told Reuters that the girl and her siblings had worked at SMART. The police who helped locate the missing girl at the time of search identified her name in a public alert. Reuters is not using her name in the article because she is a minor. The police force in Enterprise, about 45 miles from the plant in Luverne, uh, doesn't have jurisdiction to investigate possible labor law violations at the factory. Instead, the force notified the state attorney general's office about the incident. James Sanders, an Enterprise police detective, told Reuters that information. Mike Lewis, a spokesperson at the Alabama Attorney General's office, declined to comment. It's unclear whether the office or uh, other investigators have contacted Smart or Hyundai about possible violations. On Friday, in response to Reuters reporting, a spokesperson for the Alabama Department of Labor said that it would be coordinating with the United States Department of Labor and other agencies to investigate. How does that just happen? How? How does that how does that happen? I'm I'm curious. B me personally. How do we get to well the kids just disappeared. They weren't showing up at school. I mean, might be might be working in a mill. Who knows? I have no idea. Maybe they're maybe one of their limbs will be caught in the machinery. Could be pretty awkward if that happened, but it, it, mm, eh. Eh. So you already can feel how right wing news might turn this. Let's go ahead and continue. Uh, wait, so did Smart take them or did the parents need them to work? That's what we're going to try to find out. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Orbitos. I don't know how the police don't have jurisdiction in a situation like this. That's really weird. That's really weird to me that a, a giant mega corporation uh, can operate in an area where police just magically don't have jurisdiction. Awkward, right? Weird to live in a world where corporations, by and large, can avoid uh, having one of the very few things the police manage to do somewhat okay. Um, very weird. But let's go ahead and continue. Pedro C's children, who have now enrolled in the upcoming school term, were among a larger cohort of underage workers who found jobs at the Hyundai-owned supplier over the last few years, according to interviews with a dozen former or current plant employees and labor recruiters. Oh, fucking dear. Several of these miners, they said, have foregone schooling in order to work long shifts at the plant, a sprawling facility with a document history of health and safety violations... Including amputation hazards. I made the joke about losing a limb and I, I did not realize that reality was going to play the joke on me. Okay, sure. Why not? This is normal. Welcome to America, I guess. Most of the current and former employees that spoke with Reuters did so on the condition of anonymity. Reuters was unable to determine the precise number of children who may have worked at the factory, what miners were paid, or other terms of their employment. The revelation of child labor at Hyundai's U.S. supply chain could spark consumer, regulatory, and reputational backlash for one of the most powerful and profitable automakers in the world. In a human rights policy posted online, Hyundai says that it forbids child labor throughout its workforce, including its suppliers. Wow. Isn't it so weird how very often the rules that we put forward with corporations don't actually reflect the things that corporations do? Weird, that. Strange, that one. Kind of almost, almost certainly, almost incredibly. Like most large corporations are immoral pieces of shit. The company recently said that it will expand in the United States, planning over $5 billion in investments, including a new electric vehicle factory near Savannah, Georgia. Oh, joy. I can't wait to return there. 
Consumers should be outraged, said David Michaels, the former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Labor for the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, with whom Reuters shared the findings for its reportings. They should know that these cars are being built, at least in part, by workers who are children and need to be in school rather than lift, uh, risking life and limb because their families are desperate for income. So... Maybe, and maybe I'm off base when I say this, but maybe we should be offering better standards of living and better wages to most of our employees in the United States. In fact, all of our employees in the United States, so that those employees might not have to consider things like child labor in order to fucking survive. Gee, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be great if we had oh, I don't know, um a living wage that was understood and adhered to by most if not all major corporations? Wouldn't that make the soul-sucking labor of working for a faceless corporate entity ran by a thousand shareholders whose names you can't even shit out? Wouldn't it be better in that absolutely dystopian scenario that 80% of America finds itself in? Wouldn't their lives be significantly improved by fair fucking wages? Gee! Who knows? Maybe fighting for better minimum wage and fighting for a minimum wage that actually scales with inflation in response to inflation is a useful, helpful thing. I wonder if there's potentially a method uh, that workers can use in the United States, generally speaking, that will allow them to uh, negotiate better working conditions and better wages with their employers, perhaps even benefits. Hmm. I wonder, have, have we as a society invented any particular way to band workers together, potentially, and even use the banding together of those workers in, say, a, um, a union of sorts that would allow them to negotiate better wages? I don't know. Has the concept of a union ever been thought of? Ever? Hmm. Weird. At a time of U.S. labor shortage and supply chain disruptions, labor experts told Reuters that they are, there are heightened risks that children, especially undocumented migrants, could end up in workplaces that are hazardous and illegal for minors. In Enterprise, home to a bustling poultry industry, Reuters earlier this year chronicled how a Guatemalan miner who migrated to the U.S. alone found work at a local chicken processing plant. Alabama and federal laws limit minors under 18 from working in metal stamping and pressing operations such as SMART, where proximity to dangerous machinery can put them at risk. Alabama law requires children 17 and under to be enrolled in school. Wow, Alabama, imagine caring about education. Michaels, who is now a professor at George Washington University, said safety at U.S.-based Hyundai suppliers was a, re a recurrent concern at OSHA during his eight years leading the agency until he left in 2017. Michaels visited Korea in 2015 and said he, wanted Hun uh, he warned Hyundai executives that its heavy demand for just-in-time parts was causing safety lapses. The smart plant builds parts for the popular Elantra, Sonata, and Santa Fe models, vehicles that through June accounted for almost 37% of Hyundai's United States sales, according to the car maker. The factory has received repeated OSHA penalties for health and safety violations. A Reuters review of the record showed that smart has been assessed with at least $48,000 in OSHA penalties since 2013, and was most recently fined this year. OSHA inspections at SMART have documented violations, including crush and amputation hazards at the factory. Huh. 
The plant, whose website says it has a capacity to supply parts for over 400,000 vehicles each year, has also had difficulty retaining labor to keep up with Hyundai's demand. Hey, um, smart? I have a question. If you're having difficulty uh, retaining labor, maybe, maybe, just, just maybe, paying the labor more and providing safer working conditions could together create an environment that was more stable for you, the employer. I'm, I'm not speaking to you as a socialist that believes that you shouldn't own your own means of production anymore. I am that. But I'm not speaking that way right now. I'm going to speak instead from the side of the capitalist for a moment. I believe that if you are an employer, you get more worth out of employees that know how to do their job and are proud of the work they do. Generally speaking, employees value their own labor more when you value the employees more. It's very cyclical that way. Devalue your employees, they will put in less effort. They don't value their work as much. Maybe. Just maybe. Paying your employees a very respectable living wage and also making sure that they have health benefits and more safe work environments would lead to you having a more stable amount of employees and not having to maybe rely on things like child labor. Just personal thoughts. I'm just spitballing here. I mean, the other option is to make a union completely force negotiations with you for better pay uh, at all times. That would be, that would be infinitely helpful. Trust me, thank you very much for the follow. Now, I don't know if Smart has a labor union associated with it. I would assume, like most dystopian corporations here in the United States, it's very hard to actually get a labor union running there. Or they might not have a very powerful union if they do have one. Fuck if I know at this point. But if wages aren't high enough, that's a point in the table negotiations that needs to be had there. And if there's a revolving door of workers, they probably don't have a union because, well, typically, not all the time. I did. I was part of the Kroger union at one point, and that union kind of sucked. But typically, you have people retain their jobs longer uh, when they are part of a union as well. Uh, Sarah Chikorita says unions are only about uh, are only worth as much as the inability of the companies to find scabs. That's kind of a huge thing as well. People who cross the picket line when the union is trying to do something like, say, strike. Mm, scabs are a problem. Scabs are a problem. In late 2020, Smart wrote a letter to U.S. consular officials in Mexico seeking a visa for a Mexican worker. The letter, written by Smart General Manager Gary Sport and reviewed by Reuters, said the plant was severely lacking in labor and that Hyundai will not tolerate such shortcomings. Smart didn't answer Reuters about the letter. Earlier this year, attorneys filed a class action lawsuit against Smart and several staffing firms. Uh, who help supply workers with United States visas. The lawsuits filed in the United States District Court of uh, the Northern District of Georgia on behalf of the group of about 40 Mexican workers alleges that some employees hired as engineers were ordered to work menial jobs instead. Smart in court documents called allegations in this suit baseless and meritless. I don't care personally. Um, so... For me, generally speaking, when a company says these allegations are baseless, I, I don't tend to, I, I don't tend to listen. I tend to just kind of take that on, not, not even face value. I can't. Because you can't, as the company, ex you can't say we fucked up here. Because when you say we fucked up here, you tend to get liable for even more shit. Many of the miners at the plant were hired through recruitment agencies, according to current and former smart workers and local labor, recru labor recruiters. 
Although staffing firms help fill all industrial or help fill industrial jobs nationwide, they have often been criticized by labor advocates because they enable large employers to outsource responsibility for checking the eligibility of employees to work. One former worker at Smart, an adult migrant who left uh, for another auto industry job last year, said there were around 50 underage workers between the different plant shifts, adding that he knew some of them personally. Another former adult worker at Smart, a U.S. citizen who also left the plant last year, said she worked alongside about a dozen miners on her shift. Nami the Neko, thank you for resubscribing. Another former employee, Tabitha Moultrie, 39, worked on Smart's assembly line several years through 2019. Moultrie said the plant had a high turnover rate and increasingly relied on migrant workers to keep up with the intense production demands. She said she remembered working with one migrant girl who looked around 11 or 12 years old. Holy shit. The girl would come to work with her mother, Moultrie said. When Moultrie asked her her real age, the girl said she was 13. She was way too young to be working in the plant, or any plant, Moultrie said. Moultrie didn't provide further details about the girl, and Reuters couldn't independently confirm the account. C, the father of the girl who went missing, contacted Enterprise Police on February 3rd after she didn't come home. Police issued an Amber Alert, a public advisory, when law enforcement believes that a child is in danger. They also launched a manhunt for Alvaro Kukul, 21, another Guatemalan migrant and a smart worker uh, around that time whom Z believes she might be. Using cell phone geolocation data, police located Kukul and the girl in a parking lot in Athens, Georgia. The girl told officers that Kukul was a friend and that they had traveled there to look for other work opportunities. Kukul was arrested and later deported, according to people familiar with his deportation. Kukul didn't respond to a Facebook message from Reuter seeking comment. After the disappearance uh, generated local news coverage, Smart dismissed a number of underage workers, according to two former employees and other locals familiar with the plant. The source said the police attention raised fears that authorities could soon crack down on other underage workers. Why is that a fear? Why is that a fear? Shouldn't that just be ac accepted as normal? Police might crack down on all of our underage workers. <gasps> Shock, pain, panic, ah. No, that, that, that should be just accepted. You shouldn't have kids working these plants in general. You should let them live their lives and be kids. And if they are having to work those plants because their parents can't afford to put food on the table, then maybe, just maybe, we need to have a discussion about the way those parents are getting paid at your plant. If they're not getting paid a living wage, then maybe they should be getting paid a living wage. Ah, that's just me. That's just me. I... I don't know where any of these particular opinions of mine could be coming from. Having been somebody who uh, was a manager for $8 an hour. Gee, I wonder why somebody who was a manager for $8 an hour would say that um, maybe I want people to be paid fairly because I wasn't paid fairly and I would prefer other people not have to deal with that shit. But, you know, none of that really matters much. The father, Z, also once worked at Smart and now does odd jobs in the construction and forestry industries. He told Reuters he regrets that his children had gone to work. The family needed any income it could at the time, but is now trying to move on. He said, all that's over now. The kids aren't working, and in fall, they will be in school. This is a whole fucked up situation. It's parents not having the money to afford things, having to make the awful fucking decision in some cases, uh, of trying to sneak their kids into work to earn more money. Uh, and then, of course, corporations loving any amount of cheap labor that they can, being ready and willing to take on those kids. You can't just say that, well, sometimes the corporation uh, brings somebody in who 
really shouldn't they shouldn't have because well it was actually the uh the the labor the people who were going and finding the labor for them it was their fault yes part of the responsibility is on the people who found children to send to your to your area but once the children are in your area once they are in your plant and you look at them and you see that these are kids maybe somebody in management should look at that and go mm, no no we're not we're not training this person we're sending them home with a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich why why would you have kids working in a plant where amputations are a high risk I understand once upon a time we used to do that and that was considered normal but once upon a time we also used to not have interracial marriage as normal once upon a time we also used to have slavery as normal once upon a time we used to have a whole bunch of immoral shit as normal once upon a time isn't a fucking answer <laughs> it's actually just a goalpost move yeah Upton Sinclair Sinclair's The Jungle comes to mind but I said, don't worry, these employees are just in early alpha testing <laughs> by release. They'll be adults. Oh, God, no, we don't need to be alpha testing children. That sounds terrible. That sounds awful. The only child shopping up should be happening in Star Wars when Anakin walks in. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. Let me know your opinions on child labor in the comment section, I guess, when this goes up on YouTube. Why are there plants with amputations at all? Uh, that's just a, a hazard of certain uh, machinery. And the machinery not being made as safely as it could. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I've already given mine here. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel on YouTube, maybe consider doing so. If you haven't followed over on Twitch, maybe consider doing so. That would actually be really fucking swell. If you haven't checked out Patreon, that would be cool. A like button on this video would go an incredibly long way. But past all that, as always, everybody, insert into video tagline here.